As Principal of Woodville High School, I warmly welcome you all to the 2023 Reconciliation Week and House Assembly. An assembly that strengthens community and our commitment towards achieving a just and equitable future for all our young people. It is a privilege to be standing on country. And I thank Lionel, Caden and Jared Brusnahan for their warm welcome to country. Reconciliation isn't a single moment or just a week. It's all the steps we take each day that come together to make a great leap towards a more reconciled country. This year's theme focuses on becoming a voice for future generations and it invites us to stand with Aboriginal people for justice, equality and respect. Wai Pelia, Neyulu Kayamnya, Neyulu Minister Anna Ndrutuku, Neyulu Minister Parimpa Jugulpa. Uh, my name is Kayam. I am the Minister for Aboriginal Affairs first and foremost, and I'm also the Attorney General, and I'm a proud Aboriginal man. Reconciliation Week's a really important week. It, uh, it gives us time as a country to reflect on a really proud history and tradition. Uh, I was talking to Anna, your principal, who was uh, telling me there are over a hundred Aboriginal Torres Strait Islander uh, students here at Woodville High School which is an amazing number. And, and what's amazing about that is, as I look out here, there's a hundred people who are like no others in the whole world. You are part of the oldest living culture this planet has ever seen. It is, it is a remarkable thing and a source of great pride for Aboriginal people, but also uh, increasingly and more recognised for the rest of Australia. And that's really what Reconciliation Week's about. Uh, that sort of recognition. We became the first place in the whole of the country in March of this year to put into law a voice to our South Australian Parliament. So what that means is in September, Aboriginal people in South Australia will get to vote for their own representatives who will get to come to Parliament and talk about issues uh, that are of concern. So it is, it is really an, a, a pivotal point in this country's history in our respect for the oldest living culture this planet's ever seen, our, the Aboriginal Torres Strait Islander population. And that's why it's such a significant Reconciliation Week this year. Thank you so much for having me here at Reconciliation Week. I am uh, really proud to be here at Woodville High School. Thank you. In this Reconciliation Week, Woodville High School and its community for the first time in its 108 years of history, is proud to launch its first Reconciliation Action Plan. Today's Assembly and the launch of our Reconciliation Action Plan recognises the importance of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander spirituality, language, education and culture. I would like to take a moment to express my heartfelt gratitude to the members of the RAP community group and their dedication and commitment have been excellent as we shape our school commitment for growth and reconciliation. We are a school that is a proud history and together we will continue to reach for the stars and leave our own unique legacy as we continue working towards achieving reconciliation. <laughs>